Okay, I'm continuing to work on this waffle iron, and um, what I did is I put the put a two loop two of these loops, crimped them one on the wire, one on the extent on the cord, and then bolted them together with some compression fitting bolts. So it'd be nice and tight, because there's no way to solder this. It gets too hot, and the solder will melt. So you got to bolt it. Uh, you have to use connectors. The connectors that were on there literally fell apart, one of them. The other one was so worn out, it wasn't much left to it either. So I just took them off and put new connectors on. And uh, also cleaned it up a little bit, and I'll uh, clean it a little more once I get done. But I'm putting this uh, together now, and just wanted to show how I was doing it. And that should be fine. I mean, that should be really strong in there when I tighten these bolts. I haven't tightened them yet. Just putting them in just to see how they're going to hold. And they seem like they're going to be okay. I might put a lock washer in there. i got room for a lock washer so I can tighten it down really good and tight. But I'll do that. And then uh, that's how it's going to be. Okay. <clears throat> I've got this universal waffle line back together and uh, cleaned it up some nice case nice and shiny chrome and now i'm gonna polish it a little bit more i cleaned the inside trays the best i could this still you know i just basically went over them um they really could use some scrubbing but um it's beyond what i was contracted to do um i went ahead and fixed the cord and I'm going to plug it into my uh, power supply here so we can see how much current is going through it. And we'll check it out. And I'm going to let it evaporate this water, so I'm going to let it get hot. Hold on, I'm going to put something under it to keep it from uh, burning my bench. Okay. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it's on 118 volts on the load. Uh, 9.69 amps. And it's 1137 watts. So that's about right. I can already feel the heat coming out of it. And we're just going to let it run for a minute or two and make sure there's no issues with the control. I'll turn it up on high. This is basically a variable resistor that uses a um, heat sensitive metal strip to turn the unit on and off. I don't know how accurate that is because it's gotten hot so many times, but um, it at least turns it on and off. And I spoke to the owner about that, and uh, they were okay with that. They just wanted to work and to be safe. Well, right now it's working, and I think it's pretty safe. Once it um, settles up, it should be fine. We'll let it go a couple minutes and see what happens. So far it hasn't blown my breaker, so that's a good sign. The lights are still on. And I've got quite a bit on this outlet. I've got these fluorescent lights on this breaker. And i got a PC running. I've got lights all the way down the, bu the building, all on this one breaker along with this universal unit. So... It's um, not drawing too much power. The breaker would already go, and I believe it's only a 15-amp breaker. And this is drawing over half of that by itself, but that's normal. These are high-energy uh, uh, items because they, you know, they heat by cooking, by electricity. But, you know, it's the same as a hairdryer, which on high is 1,500 watts, or... Uh, Space heater, again, on high is 1,500 watts, on low is 600 watts. 
This is drawing around 1,100 watts, so it's more efficient than um, a space heater. So, should be drying in there a little. Yeah, see how the smoke come out when I open that up? It's hot, and of course there's no batter in there, which is not the best situation. But I uh, just wanted to give it a worst case scenario. It's actually not cooking anything, but it is getting hot. It is drying out the um, the water that's in there from where I washed it. I draw, I, I dried off the plate side that faces the burners, obviously, and I dried off the others some, but where the waffle goes. But I figured I would let this really dry it off, and it did. You see, it dried it off. There's quite a bit of heat coming out of this. Uh, very efficient though when it's closed. You don't see a lot of heat. You can see the burners lit through there. I hear some crackling, but I think it's just these plates expanding, getting hot. I know it is because, see, you can hear them when I open the tray. Okay. It's just uh, the tray expanding and getting hot. So, that's fine. I'm just not the electrical part. I am happy. That's just normal operation as the burners get real hot. And I am on high. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and make sure that it shuts off. Okay, and we are down to zero watt. So it shut off and no current draw. So units working. Smoke coming out of there. It's hot, so it's working good. Okay, I got this universal all set, all back together, ready to go. Tested it, let it got real hot, and it did fine. I cleaned it up, polished it a little bit, just to kind of make it shine. And you see, it shines really good. Uh, got some light scuffing and scratches, but they're very small very minor it's in great shape for its age um i'm gonna flip it over and show you what i did on the cord okay uh what i did is i bolted the two wires in there to the connectors they're very tight i let the unit get really hot and then i turned it over and touched this and this was room temperature same as the legs it was room temperature um with the repair the cover would not close all of the way as i had hoped but it's in good enough shape it closes and it's below the legs barely but it is below the legs so that was the best i could do on that i went ahead and put some high temperature silicon um, glue in here hot glue but it's high temperature hot glue and uh, that'll be sort of two purposes the main purpose being um, if I turn it around you see I did all the way around including around the cord the main purpose would be to help keep moisture out of there which will help keep it from corroding um, and of course shorting and um, also, too, to help keep air out of there, which will really help with the corrosion issue. The other um, thing it'll do is it'll act as a um, heat sensing warning system in that um, if this were to get hot inside, if the connectors um, ever got where they started acting up like they were, this would get hot enough 
here to melt this glue, which would make a sticky mess. Not really bad, but it would be uh, an indication that something's wrong. And of course, when the glue dries, it, it comes right off. So like it is now, it would peel right off. So if it did end up on a surface, when it dried, it would come right off unless it was on a fabric or porous surface. And of course, it'd be hard to get it off. But you see, it comes off pretty good. I'm just cleaning up that connector a little the cover I mean but this is the trade-off is it's going to help protect this from getting worse and that's the main concern that I have and that's a security a safety thing as well it'll add to the safety of the device so um, I can't of course guarantee this repair because um, there's no way to fix the actual problem in there any better than I did but uh, it is a whole lot better than it was, and it should last um, considerably longer than, uh, well, actually, there is no other alternative. So it is what it is, but it's definitely going to extend the life of the machine. And so uh, anyway, that's what I did. And so now the, customers ha the customer has a very nice looking unit and if it ever does die again at least it'll make a nice self uh, shelf queen <laughs> it's a beautiful unit but um and of course it could be um repaired with the bottom of another one at some point if had to be so i mean you know but i think it's in good shape and i think it's going to last a while and um um, we we kind of given it some new life and given it a new shine and a new set of clothes. Um, so we gave it a new shine and it looks good. So if you found this video useful, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I appreciate that support and subscribe to my channel. You'll get to see more repairs on uh, small appliances as well as... Um, antique fans and tube radios and other such gadgets and uh, enjoy sharing these videos so i appreciate your support in making that possible thank you